Howdy folks, Moose here. Well, I've got another online digital darkroom kind of lesson I want to share with you because it really, not so much digital darkroom as so much as your heart. What am I talking about? Well, here's this experience we had a couple weeks ago up on the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We had a storm blowing through. We had those great God beams. Now, the God beams, that's our subject. Many people are asking, how do we bring out that subject in the photograph? Well, first you got to capture it, but you got to end up realizing you're going to end up going here. You're going to say, wow, there's a big difference between there and there. The difference being is, here's a picture saying, I was here, to a picture saying, you've got to be here. Now, how did we get to that point? That's the important part. So we start off with this photograph. Okay, now shot it with a D4. That gives me a six stop range. You can still do it. Other people did it with other cameras with not that big range. But you've got to say to yourself, what's the subject? That's everything. All right, so I'm going to simply, this is already a, a PSD. I'm just going to open up. Here's the raw file. Okay, it's a smart object. Here's the photograph. So I'm going to start with my basics. You don't know how to get there. Look at the other videos online. I'm just going to click my preset for landscape. Okay, that's the landscape picture perfect setting in the D4. Okay, so there's my basics. Now, what's the subject? It's these God beams. How do you make those God beams come out? And there's multiple God beams. So the technique I'm going to talk about is we have multiple God beams. Well, here's the first and foremost thing you have to understand. What's your eye going to in the frame? Not yours, not the photographer, not the one who sat there in that 30 mile an hour breeze. It's minus two degrees. You're freaking cold. Not you. What does the viewer see in, the, in that photograph? Their mind's eye goes to this up here. There's no way around it. It doesn't get to these God beams. They're not as bright as this. So then in this process of bringing out the subject, first thing we have to do is got to get that subject to smack the viewer between the eyes. This has got to go away. It's real simple in Adobe Camera Raw. Grab our highlight slider and bring it down. Yeah, look what happened. Before and after. All that information is there. The D4 has no problem capturing it. And look what happens. Look what happens to the God beams down here. When what? You make that light and bright at the top of the frame disappear. How'd I do it? Couldn't do it any faster. Highlight slider. Okay, there it is at zero. I just brought it down to I saw the information I want. Did I go to 100? No. I brought it to whatever it was, you know, right around around there. And look at the difference before and after. Okay, so there's that information brought down. So now we can see this. What's the other end of the highlights? How about bringing up some shadows? It's really simple in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm just going to bring up the shadows a little bit. Not really rocket science. Okay? Now, look at this, this area right here. The God beams. That's really what we're looking at. Here's the beginning. Here they are. Starting to bring them out. Now, is there a secret weapon I have to make this happen? Well, kind of is. Now, most people know I'm not a big clarity slider fan. I just don't like a lot of times what it does, especially when people use it for sharpness. But what does it do? Clarity, okay, changes the ratio of highlights and shadows in a pixel. Well, what are we trying to bring out right now? Some highlights. So when we took this clarity over it, not looking for sharpness, but just look at the God beams. What happens to them? Did you see what happened? Here, I'll go back again. Look at these God beams. Watch them. Okay, so in Adobe Camera Raw, with just three sliders, I went from this to this. It don't get any simpler. You've got to keep in mind, though, it all happens when you go click at the camera. you got to look at your subject, look at what's taking your eye away from that subject, fill in the rest of the photograph to tell a story, boom, you got it, before and after. Click OK, and there it is. And then all I went and did for finishing is one of my favorite tools right now, and that is the Perfect 7 Black and White. All right, there you go. 
Think about it. How's the mind eye going to look in the frame? It's going to go to light and bright. If that takes your eye away from the subject, you've got to do something about it. You've got two really cool tools in Adobe Camera Raw. You've got the highlight slatter and you got clarity. It's that simple. Hope that helps. Thanks for dropping by.